to my channel. If you're new here, I am Erin. So, let me catch you up on what's going on. I am going on vacation to Orlando, Florida with my family at the end of the month. And I've noticed that when I go on vacation with people or just when I'm out of my typical routine, I tend to kind of lose myself a little bit and then I just start to feel not my best. And I also just feel like I'm not doing my best. So what I want to do is create a routine for myself that I'm also just going to implement when I'm on vacation. So the first thing that I did was I made my bed. I want to make sure that when I'm away, I'm still making my bed because that is something I do absolutely every single morning. Having my bed made not only makes my room a lot cleaner whenever I do go in there throughout the day and the end of the night, but it also just makes me feel better knowing that I've done something. And I don't know, I've heard this thing about if you make your bed in the morning, then it's one task that you've completed and it gives you kind of like the motivation and like the happy hormones to motivate you to do more. The next thing I want to do is my skincare. I have been good about my skincare, like I've been, you know, wearing my sunscreen, washing my face, doing all that stuff, but I have just been like slacking slightly. What I mean by slacking, I look like bald right now. What I mean by slacking is basically I just haven't been doing the extra steps, I haven't been doing face masks, I haven't been doing my double cleanser with my facial balm, and just things like that. So I want to do a little bit of a deeper skincare right now and make my skin starting off on a good place and then I'm just going to keep up with it a little bit better than I have been the past month or so. So I always wear one of these headbands just because if I don't my hair will get wet when I'm washing my face and I have very thin fine hair and so if my hair gets wet while I'm washing it, it kind of stays stuck to my head and it just kind of loses its volume. <laughs> I let it air dry so it's not looking it's cutest right now so I want to quickly just straighten it that way it's styled for the rest of the week I'm gonna use a little bit of the Olaplex oil and I'm just gonna do like two drops I don't really straighten my hair like a pro I just honestly go like this go like this and straighten and that's pretty much it my hair isn't super stubborn when it comes to being straightened because it is naturally pretty straight. Um, before I dyed it, it was like pin straight whenever I would let it air dry, which was nice. I'm excited to go back to that because now it's like a little bit more work because my hair is damaged, obviously, and blonde. <laughs> I've been wanting the Apple headphones. I've just wanted like the over ear headphones for a little while now. And then the Apple ones are just so sexy, but I am not willing to spend like $700 on a pair of headphones. So I was looking online trying to figure out which ones I wanted to get. And I saw the Sony ones a few weeks ago. And then I saw a few people that I actually know post the Sony ones saying that they're so great. And I've been looking at reviews. As well as, I was talking to my friend yesterday who does my lashes and she was saying that Costco actually has them on sale for $100 off. So we're going to head there in about 10 minutes. I'm going to go pick her up and we're going to go see if I can get the Sony headphones on sale and hopefully they're in stock. I want those headphones, especially for the gym, but also because I um, don't have headphones that are, that are noise cancelling right now. I just have the regular first generation AirPods. Um, and those kind of like eventually make your ears a little achy and sore as well as I'm gonna be on vacation soon And I would really love to have a good pair of headphones for when I'm at the airport because apparently Pearson which is the airport that's near me is just Fucked and like taking forever to get on your flight and just like a lot of delays and just insane So I would love to be able to have a really comfortable 
um, airport experience and I feel like that'll help with that as well as when I'm on vacation with my family I would like to have noise canceling headphones so if I'm meditating or I'm ever listening to music or just doing my own thing and I don't want to have to hear other people's conversations or just be disrupted then I can have my peace and quiet so I'm really excited I'm really 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 hoping that they have them keep your fingers crossed for me I know this has nothing to do with building a routine I just wanted to fill you in because this is also kind of a vlog so okay see you there Costco and I want to give you guys a little haul because I did pick up a few other things but look who I got I'm really excited to try them out we'll open them in a second but quickly another little haul I got some bubbly sparkling water because I was out of all of my Montelier and that's what they have at um, Costco and then the next thing I got are these Rivera yogurts these are the coconut ones so they're dairy free I've seen so many people talk about these and one of my clients was talking about how much how great they are as well by the way savannah did come with me because she was the one that told me about these headphones being on sale um and she also was telling me that this bubble tea is really really good and tastes like actual bubble tea so i'm excited to get it i'm excited to try it out maybe we got a pack of these stuffed bell peppers because what i like to do with things like that that are already pretty much ready is i'll put them in individual ziploc bags and then freeze them because it's only me so if i need a meal i can just easily pull one out let it thaw out and then and then i got another one of these savannah was saying these are also really good they're natural energy drinks basically sparkling waters that aren't bad for you but i guess they're also like energy drinks so i'm gonna put the stuff away and, and i also want to make a playlist for when i'm on vacation of music that I like that I feel like I'll enjoy listening to on the beach that isn't also super super vulgar because my dad, my stepmom, my young siblings, and my grandma are all going to be with me so they all have to be enjoying the music as well. just the um, bell peppers that are stuffed with meat, um, the ones that I got from Costco. I'm going to come in here just so you guys don't have to hear the annoying air fryer sound. But I just got back from the gym and I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what my gym routine is looking like as of lately. So when I first started working out, I mean, I have been on and off with working out since I guess high school. Um, it really wasn't consistent until I would say this year in January. Um, I was somewhat consistent from like September of last year until I think November and then there was another lockdown so like it wasn't that great and I had to stop going and I was just doing like at home stuff but I was focusing only on doing weightlifting with like my lower body then I slowly started incorporating my arms with weights and now my workout routine I feel is so much better I started doing Pilates on these like online workouts and I realized that I don't have the time to be doing like a slow pilates workout while also doing a gym workout so i'll incorporate little pieces of pilates workouts and just kind of like doing slow motion workouts with my regular routine so let me walk you through what my day at the gym looks like when i get there i'll do a good stretch i'll get my body warmed up then i will go straight into doing my arm workout i use a chloe ting workout and i'll link it down below it's actually like a weightless um arm workout so there's no weights involved and i find this really good to like tone your arms without building too much muscle which is basically my goal and I feel like it does a pretty good job. I have sore arms after doing it, so it's actually doing something, although it looks like I'm doing nothing. It does hurt. <laughs> Straight after that, I'll go into doing a little bit of abs. By the way, with both of these workouts I was doing this day, I wasn't following any video. I was just doing the workouts that I had learned in the videos on my own and kind of just doing it at the pace 
that I felt like doing it. And then after I do abs, I'll go straight into my glute activations. So I'll just basically do a bunch of leg workouts with, with these bands and I won't take any breaks. That way my butt just really gets on fire. Then I'll go into the actual weightlifting room and once I'm there, I'll start off by doing hip abductors. After that, I didn't film it, but I did um, glute kickbacks, glute medius kickbacks. Um, I didn't film it because there was just too many people around, but that was what I did. And then after that, I went on to the hip thrust machine and did hip thrusts. Usually I'll do hip thrusts before I do the glute um, kickbacks, but the machine was busy, so I just kind of switched them. I did find it a little bit harder to do my hip thrusts as the last workout because I was already kind of tired. Um, I like kind of doing it as like one of the first ones, but it's fine. Then I went back into the room, did a quick stretch, took off my sweatband. I, apparently it's supposed to be good for water weight. I don't really know. Some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. I honestly have no clue, but that was my workout. Now I'm just having a bit of a protein shake. I'll show you guys what I'm drinking. My friend Savannah put me onto these and they're really yum. And they also are pretty high in protein. I get them at the grocery store. It's called Nutriment and I think it has, yeah, 16 grams of protein. It's really, really yummy. It's not always the protein that I go for. Sometimes I just make a smoothie and use like protein powder, but this is easy. So I just threw it in a glass and I'm having that. Little update, I made the bubble tea from Costco and it's actually really freaking good. I'm thoroughly impressed. So, yay for that. Mm -hmm. 